What's up guys, my name is Ilyas and welcome to your 40th tutorial and you know we have only uh, 11 tutorials left and you guys, well including this one of course you guys did an awesome job following along and you know already through with almost 40 tutorials this is a lot, well if you uh, finish this course you'll be a, a jQuery expert of course you don't know all the function and all the things you can do with jQuery but you know uh, if you already ha I learned that much which we learned in the previous tutorials you will be able to learn the other stuff easily because you know jQuery is a very s simple thing and that's why it's, it's got very popular alright um, so you know in the last tutorial we left some space right here for our uh, Ajax requests so now our our uh, our purpose of this tutorial is to um, to write the code which will uh, send the contents of this UL element called portfolio to the server so to the server script which I wrote called change.php and what, it, what this change.php does it just uh, takes this post request and looks for a variable called list in this post request and then it just basically writes or rewrites this uh, data to the, f to the file called list.html and our list.html is just basically the list of our images right here so well the thing is pretty simple and you don't have to understand this PHP code well uh, you know but anyway it's very simple if you're interested in uh, this is how I uh, work with our requests so you just use this post uh, array and then you look for a, you look for a variable called list and stuff so this is not so important well the most important thing is going to happen right here so first the first thing we have to do is uh, we have to get the contents of this list and if you uh, look at the structure of our HTML document you'll see that this UL ID portfolio includes or contains this li elements so let's just go ahead and create a new variable and store the portfolio's contents in it and I'll just call it a uh, portfolio or no I don't think portfolio is a good name for it I'll just say list contents content All right and set it equal to uh, so I use this jQuery selector for portfolio so now I grab the portfolio itself but I need the contents of it so I can use this HTML function which uh, returns the contents of this portfolio so uh, now we have it and now we can perform a simple or not that simple Ajax request uh, done in jQuery and you know there are lots of options we have we can use a, a, um, a standard function called Ajax but uh, then we have to fill out all the parameters and well to my mind the best way to do that to perform a post request is to use the, the uh, simple and uh, built-in function in jQuery called post and make sure you uh, place a dot before uh, before the word post and uh, after the dollar sign and this function post takes two parameters well, in our case it will take only two parameters the first parameter is a path to the script which takes this data so I call the script change.php so uh, you can just go ahead and say change.php and then you just put a comma to split the parameter and in the curly brackets we just have to uh, define the variable which will be sent but you know I call this variable list right here so I'm expecting for a variable called list to come with this post request so uh, we just say list and set it equal to uh, the contents of this portfolio which we call list contents so just go ahead and set it to equal to list contents and well that's actually it then you just put your uh, semicolon and now what's gonna happen every time when you release the element after dragging it when you just drop it this code runs and what this code does it just um, grabs the entire contents of the portfolio and sends it to a server using this data uh, variable and the server just stores it and that's it well it's just very very simple but it works so I'm gonna show it to you that it works so let's just go ahead and test it and guys please make sure every time 
before you test, you reload the page. Otherwise, uh, it won't take any effect. So now I'm just going to grab the first image with this beach on it, and I'll just grab it somewhere right here. So now I'm dropping it, and now something should happen because, well, we don't see that, but in the background there's a asynchronic request which runs. So now when I reload the page, I see that the beach, uh, the picture with the beach is still on the right side. So it means if we go to our list.html, we see that something has changed here. Well, the server, uh, the server script isn't that accurate by writing, but it just keeps the structure. And we see that the picture with the beach is the picture number four right here, and it 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 um it was physically uh, moved to this position. So this is how um, AJAX works. So you just do something pretty much in the background, and you don't see that. Alright guys, I hope you had fun watching this tutorial and I will see you guys in the next one where we are going to do some more cool stuff. So uh, thanks for watching guys and see you in the 41st tutorial.